So let's take a look at an overview of SAP Business One and then what we're going to do is we're going to bring in the components that form part of the Resolve Logistics solution. So it's important to understand that Resolve will work with both SAP Business One running on SQL Server and also SAP Business One version for SAP HANA. So now I'm going to be doing a demonstration here utilizing SAP Business One version for HANA because it's really the version for HANA that takes advantage of all those new technologies that we talked about in our introduction. Many of you are already uh, running SAP Business One. You might have already seen SAP Business One and you might be familiar with this particular look and feel of the application. So this is the standard skin of SAP Business One. This does not have any of those usability enhancements, any of those user experience enhancements that are available um, with SAP Business One version for HANA switched on. So what you're seeing here is the traditional look and feel. Now, one of the things that you'll notice very, very quickly is that like most well-designed solutions for SAP Business One, the Resolve application just drops seamlessly into the, in, into the rest of the Business One environment. So, for example, you'll see you've got all your standard Business One modules, but when Resolve is installed, you'll see you get an additional menu down here and you get all of the Resolve modules become available. Now, a lot of people, when they think about Resolve, they think of it as purely a warehouse management solution. but it's so much more than that and and this is one of the pieces of feedback that we often get when you know talking to to customers and talking to partners even um, it's like oh wow I didn't realize that there were all of those different components available in the resolve solution so again over this series of videos we're going to drill down and look at them in a lot more detail but a great starting point for this uh, and a great way to see how deep and wide the resolve functionality is is to start off by looking at the Resolve order to cash because this is one of those areas that for many people um, that are in the wholesale and distribution space, this is one of their core business processes that they want to automate. And of course, one of the most important components of any order to cash cycle is getting a complete end-to-end -end picture of the customer. So let's just quickly dive into the customer inquiry. So what you'll see when I uh, revise the size of this particular screen, you're going to see the depth of functionality that is available across all of these modules from quotations to orders, the ability to bring in those orders through EDI, the equipment rental module, of course the warehouse management solution, but there is so much more. So before I go any further, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to switch on the Fiori uh, user interface so you'll really start to see how that concept of digital transformation and bringing together all of those different components that we talked about the UI5, the Fiori um, cockpits, the, the big data, uh, the analytics capability that is provided by SAP Business One version for HANA all comes together. So in order to do that as you're probably aware it's quite a simple process you go in here into your administration you go into your system initialization, you go into your general settings, and you come in here into your cockpit and you switch on the Fiori style cockpit. It's that simple. Uh, and then I'm going to say update. It's going to ask me, hey, do you want this to update only the new users and users who are following the defaults or everybody? So I'm just going to say just new users and users who follow the defaults. And, and the user that I'm using, that's what I've got set up. So I'll just go ahead and I'll say update on that. So those changes have kicked in, and so what I'll do is I'll just sign out of the system, and I'll come back in and relaunch SAP Business One. And what you'll see immediately when the system launches, it starts to look completely different, and this is the, the, the Fiori look and feel. So I'll just log in with my username and password. So I'm a user inside the system called Neil, and away we go, we're now inside SAP Business One with the Fiori user interface switched on. So what you're going to see here is a really different look and feel. Now I'm going to show you some other things as we go through the demonstrations, particularly for those of you who aren't necessarily that familiar with SAP Business One uh, and you might be wanting to you know, get a little bit more of an understanding. 
But in SAP Business One, when you have the Fiori cockpit switched on, then obviously you have all of these different widgets that are available for you inside the system. So now, not only do you have the standard SAP Business One widgets that are available with the solution, and you can go in here into your cockpits and you can launch um, those different uh, sets of widgets. So I can say, look, I want my finance uh, set, I want my sales set. And what that enables you to do is get a starting point, but you also have the ability to add additional widgets in here. All right, so bear that in mind. So what you're seeing here is customized specifically for each user, but you can build these templates to roll out to the rest of the people inside your organization. Now, why is that important? Well, when you have Resolve, you're really taking SAP Business One to the next level. And one of the things that we're seeing is that many customers um, who never would have previously considered SAP Business One because the depth of functionality from a logistics perspective wasn't there, they are now starting to, you know, they are now starting to deploy SAP Business One. And in those scenarios, you've got a lot more users. So these, these processes of streamlining the rollout, utilizing things like those templates and the other tools inside SAP Business One to help you do that become really, really important. And of course, because Resolve is built utilizing all those standard SAP technologies, it's all extensible um, into the Resolve solution. So, you know, you've got, as I said, all of those widgets, but now when I come in back in here into my menu, I now have my resolve options and you'll see the menu does look different as well. Uh, and I can now come in here into exactly the same screen, my resolve order to cash. And we'll let that window just open up. And this is the last time I'm gonna say it. Um, you know, when I, when I pick one of those windows, you will see that the, the actual physical layout of these windows is exactly the same, but it's just the look and feel uh, is, is very different because of that, that Fiori style interface. So now moving through the records is very, very simple. So I'm gonna call up an existing customer from my demonstration data, and let's take a look at Arrow Electronics. Now Arrow Electronics is a customer that is in my distribution group. So this is a customer that, you know, I'm doing a lot of different kinds of transactions with. So I call up my customer. Now, this is a screen where your, um, your salespeople uh, can very much live their lives. Um, matter of fact, most of the people inside the organization can live their lives here because you've actually got the ability to view everything that's going on from a customer's perspective in here. You can narrow the transactions down by dates if you want to. Um, you can also apply the same kind of filters that are in standard SAP Business One. You know, you can tell the system that you want to see item detail when you're drilling down. You can say, I want to see my closed documents uh, as well as my open documents. So I can either say open or closed, or I can say show me both kinds of documents. Then I can also look at reserved and unreserved items, and we'll talk a little bit more about what those things are as we go through. But in this particular instance, I'm really gonna try and show you the, as much as we possibly can. So then I come in here and I can see, all right, right now I've got no quotations active for this particular customer. But then when I come in here into my orders, you'll see these are all the sales orders I've got. Now, there is a standard order inquiry screen inside SAP Business One, but as a logistics professional, one of the things that you'll probably be wanting is a lot more detail that's been, um, you know, tailored specifically for, for what you need to do your job. So remember SAP Business One, the primary um, focus market for, for SAP Business One is small and mid-sized businesses. What Resolve does is it really tailors the entire experience to deliver a much more logistics centric um, deployment of SAP Business One. And this is one of the reasons why when you're really thinking about SAP Business One together with Resolve, you're thinking about a solution that's built specifically to address the needs of logistics companies. So anyway, um, you've got all that information all on the one screen. You know, what is the document number? Um, again, how is it being shipped? When is the due date? What's the status? Is it approved? Has it gone through that approval process inside SAP Business One? Then of course you've got your standard drill down capability. So I can click on my golden arrows as you're probably familiar with if you know Business One. And that'll take you into the underlying document that's sitting there inside 
uh, SAP Business One. So here is the sales order, and you'll see you've got all the standard information. However, it's again enhanced with additional information uh, that is provided by Resolve. All right, so you've got you know your standard information. What is the uh, what is the product that's involved in the order? You know what is the logistics information? Standard stuff that's in the traditional business one. But then you've got additional information here, um, like the packing information that now comes in, and then gives you a much more detailed view of exactly how um, the product is packed for that order. And this becomes very very important of course when you're starting to deal with lots of different ways that an order can be sold and the different uh, units of measure and the different um, packaging types uh, that become very very important so again you've got that drill down capability and of course you'll see that sitting underneath here is a lot of additional information now Resolve utilizes the user-defined fields capability um, in quite a few areas. So this is where you'll see a lot of additional information that's come through. So for example, I can tell that this order has come through from an EDI partner and it's come through from Amazon. And it's got all of my EDI information quickly and easily accessible in here for me to be able to go and drill down and view. So all of that information is quickly and easily available. Then you have the additional things. Now remember, we talked about digital transformation and one of those core components was analytics and the other core component was machine learning. So not only do we have these user-defined fields, but we also have our analytics and then we also have our machine learning. So the idea here behind the machine learning is that what uh, SAP Business One will do is it goes in and it says, okay, based on what um, this customer has bought, we're gonna make a certain number of recommendations. And then it's gonna say customers who bought this item also bought the following items. So a very similar kind of scenario for you to the Amazon.com uh, experience, where it's, it's really helping you to you know, expand the sales value, if you like. But of course, this is a scenario where you've got your salesperson who might be on the phone. So those recommendations will come up during the actual creation of the sale, okay? So again, all I've done there is just drill down from that sales order. So now again, you can see here's my sales order EDI. So what this is now gonna show me, it's gonna show me all of my sales orders, but it's gonna show it to me in the context of the kinds of EDI transactions that have come in. And if you're working with EDI, you'll, you'll be familiar with some of these codes, you know, these EDI codes like an 850, which is an order, the 855, which is an acknowledgement. So you can say, okay, well, here was the order it came in on an 850. And then you can go in here and as the process occurs, you, it, it'll go through and it will push out um, an acknowledgement. Um, then when you've got your advanced shipping notice and that's been created, you'll be able to see the advanced shipping notice in here. When an invoice has been created, you'll be able to see that invoice um, inside the system as well. And what you'll notice, as I go and select each one of these different areas here, the information changes up here. So it's very, this, this screen is very context aware. So it's providing additional information based on what you're looking at here on the screen. So again, if I go back here to deliveries, you'll see that approved invoice information disappears. I'm gonna go back to my order. Then I've got the ability to drill down in here and say, okay, maybe with this customer, we've actually got equipment rental um, and we've got equipment that's out on, on rental. So we've got quotes there, we've got orders that are available and then we've got that service capability. Now we'll drill down in and take a look at the WMS. And when I'm inside the WMS, I can now get a view of exactly what's going on from the warehouse perspective. So I can see that you know, for this customer, these are the orders that are currently in the picking process. Again, I've got the ability to drill down uh, and narrow this down. Now, I'm not gonna get into the intimate details of this you know, module by module because the purpose of this demonstration is just to give you that overview. Um, but you've got that clarity, you've got that flexibility that comes from having the, this, this capability to drill down. All right, so again, a lot more functionality in the resolve the so in the resolve solution that a lot of people realize so this screen very very important
but also when we're talking about the additional functionality. If you take a look here at the um, additional module headings that are appearing underneath the resolve uh, menu, you'll see there is container management and the container management enables you to manage the entire process um, of shipping product inside containers. So again we'll drill down and look at that in a lot more detail but what I wanted to do is show you some of the other things. So for example if you go in here into Resolve Mobile what basically happens here is this gives you the ability to tailor the way the mobile application works. So what you're now looking at is as you can tell it's a web browser environment so where this becomes important is that it enables you to then utilize this functionality with any device that has a web browser capability. Now, because it's all built using HTML5, all of these screens that, that I'm going to show you automatically adapt according to the, the size of the device that you're working with. And, and for those of you who are aware, you'll know that that's actually called um, responsive design. And so as I'm changing the different size of the screen, you'll see that everything will automatically adapt to that, uh, to that size of the screen. So anyway, let's go back up and let's assume maybe I'm working in a kiosk. So again, I go and I'll pick my company and I pick my employee ID, who am I? So again, you'll see it's, it's designed for a mobile experience but I've also got that ability to search in here so I can come in here and I can just search for Neil and there I am I'm Neil Smith it's got my employee ID um, I could have just put that in if I wanted to and now I'll put in my password and I can tell the system hey I want you to remember me so the next time I log on the whole process is much much faster so now it's going to take all of the settings that have been configured for me as a user inside Resolve and what it's doing is it's now presenting for me the mobile applications that are available specifically for me. And again, let's just go through that process. You'll see as my device changes in size, all right, the system automatically adapts. And it's designed to adapt for touch screens as well. So if I wanted to, I could swipe across or I'm able to go down here and utilize these, um, these functions. So I can click here on the arrow to move backwards and forwards. Or of course, if I'm using a touch screen, I can use my touch functionality. And then let's say, for example, my device is actually more of this kind of format. Again, same scenario, you'll see everything adjusts accordingly. So then let's go back to our order to cache because it's a good way of comparing the two of these and seeing how this works. So what you've now got, you're a sales rep, you're out on the road, all you need is your mobile device, whether it's an iPad, whether it's an iPhone, um, Android device, whatever the case may be. If you're sitting at home and you're playing games on your Xbox and you want to bring it up on your Xbox, well of course you can do that as well using the browser. Um, but uh, anyway, you've got this ability to do exactly the same inquiry. So now what do I do? I simply come in here and I do that lookup. And then I've got that capability in here to start doing that search as well. So if I start typing arrow, there it is, it narrows down. Now notice how fast it is and that is the, that's the benefit of using the SAP HANA database on the back end and that's the benefit of utilizing all of the different tools that we talked about in our introduction to build the solution. So now I'm looking at all this information. I want to say I want to see the item detail. And now I've got that. I can go in here and I'm able to click and drill down on my results. I can now say, show me my sales quotes. Show me my sales orders. And again, what you're now seeing is the details of the sales orders that are inside the system. So here's my document and here are the details. Now why am I getting it that way? I'm just going to go back. I'm getting it that way because remember when I, went, when I went in I said show me the item detail. I'm now going to switch off the show item detail, go back into my sales orders and now you'll see I'm just getting it at the header level. Alright, but of course I can double click or double tap and it drills me down inside the sales order. 
not to put too fine a point on it, um, if you're a partner and you're looking at this, you're probably saying, wow, why doesn't all of SAP Business One work like this? Well, this is exactly where SAP are heading with SAP Business One. But I think the takeaway from this is that what Resolve have done is they've really been leading the way with their utilization of this technology because the focus has been on logistics companies. They've taken all that knowledge and experience and said, okay, this is how people in a, in a logistics environment want to work, all right? So they want to be able to um, have this kind of user interface and it has to be fast and it has to be simplified so that you know when for example you are operating inside the warehouse and you are maybe uh, you've been asked to take your device and go out and start picking well you can go in here into your picking menu and now you start seeing all the different components that are available you can see all of my pick lists uh, you can just see, see the simple sales order pick lists you can see the reserve invoice pick lists or you can uh, go and see all the wave pick lists Right, so from a logistics or from a WMS perspective, Resolve su supports just the standard sales order picking as well as that wave picking for those organizations where you know, you've got a larger volume of transactions. The thing to bear in mind there is that you don't have to use it. Right, you can just start off with the sales order pick list and you, you, know, you don't necessarily start off with the wave picking. So very, very important to bear in mind that you utilize the system the way that it makes sense for you to utilize it there and then on the spot. Right, so here's my sales order pick list. I can come in here, choose the pick list that I want to work with. So here is, here's one of my pick lists. I've selected my pick list and now here is the details of what I have to pick. So I can see, I can narrow it down. I've got the ability to go in and set my settings in here and I can say, you know what? I just wanna see the bin, the item, the order quantity and the pick quantity. I don't care about some of these other things uh, because I already know um, this information. So I just wanna keep the screen simple. And again, now I've got a really simple screen and let's go back and look at it in the traditional format that you might be utilizing. Let's say you're just using a, an iPhone Maybe it's in a ruggedized cradle. So there it is. There is your, your same screen in that, um, in that format. All right, and I can say I want to hide the finished products. I've got an order quantity. And so I'll just simply go in here, choose it. It's going to say no package number selected. Continue the picking without packing because remember, again, don't want to get into too much detail here because there is a lot of fu functionality available you can do the pick and pack at the same time. And it's gonna detect, you know, how are you working? So in this particular instance, I'm just gonna do the pick, all right? Because I haven't selected a package number, so now I'm doing the pick. It's telling me I need to pick my five. So I'll say, yep, I've picked my five, and I'll say add, and that's it. That's now done. There's nothing else left to pick. So I now say finish. Do I wanna post the records? I say yes, and it's done. That is the entire picking process. It is just so incredibly easy. And I know I'm kind of gushing a little bit, but um, having seen the standard SAP Business One and then seeing what Resolve does um, and when they've combined all these different components together and, and utilizing the technology the way it's been designed to be used, it really does give you that picture of how all of those components come together. And then you'll see across here automatically my recent updates. It now knows that I just did pick list number 17. So all of that information is constantly being updated. And then of course I can now go back and I am now, I'm, not, I'm no longer picking. I've got to go back and I'm now doing customer service again. So maybe I have to do some RMAs. So I can come in here to the RMA management as well. I can process a return request. So everything can be done from the mobile device and for me as we just wrap up this brief overview and introduction to um, you know to, to resolve uh, for me this is the big advantage is that we know that the preferred device for many people nowadays is a mobile device and so this kind of format uh, of accessing the information is absolutely critical 
uh, and I think Resolve have done a great job of building uh, according to that requirement from customers. So that's it for today's demo. Hopefully you've enjoyed it and hopefully you're going to come back and join us as we start drilling down into each of the modules in more detail. Don't forget at any point in time you can reach out to the team at Resolve or actually it's the team at I Achieve IT uh, Solutions and you can reach them at www.achieveits or achieveits.com uh, and they'd be more than happy to have a conversation with you. Also, if you've got any questions, don't forget you can reach out to me. My email address is richard at richardduffy.com. You can drop me a note via Twitter. My Twitter handle is at Richard Duffy. And of course, you'll find me on all of the SAP Business One social media properties like the social media groups, um, the Business One groups on Facebook, uh, the SAP Business One group on LinkedIn. Uh, if you've got any questions, please feel free to reach out. And I look forward to seeing you in our next video.